Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabury Church of Christ midweek lesson for November 2nd, 2022. Today I want to talk to you about because it's impossible for our God to lie, we can trust him completely. If you have your Bibles, open them to Hebrews chapter 6, verses 10 through 20. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, and follow with me as I read. For God is not unjust so as to forget your work and the love which you have shown toward his name. In having ministered and in still ministering to the saints, and we desire that each one of you show the same diligence so as to realize the full assurance of hope until the end. <coughs> Excuse me. So that you will not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. For when God made the promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and I will surely multiply you. And so having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. For men swear by one greater than themselves and with them an oath given as confirmation is an end of every dispute. In the same way, God desiring even more to show to the heirs of the promise the unchangeableness of his purpose interposed with an oath so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge would have strong encouragement to take hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and steadfast, and one, with, one which enters within the veil, where Jesus has entered as a forerunner for us, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Let me ask you, have you ever felt as if there is a promise that God failed to keep? If so, then I think today's passage is for you. And let's look at three things that we can learn from it. Number one, there is no one greater than the Lord. He has infinite power, knowledge, and wisdom. Nothing can thwart his purpose, so everything that he commits to do, he will do. Today's passage reassures us that the Lord never fails. His children, even if we have to wait for his answer. Number two, God is unchangeable. That means his word and his plans for the ultimate good of his children do not change. You can count on him to do whatever he says that he will do. You know, everything around us changes. Everything around us changes. Our Heavenly Father never wavers. Number three, it's impossible for God to lie. He is true and the source of all truth. Because he's holy, there is no sin in him. All his commitments are based on his truthfulness. A oh, promise is valuable only if the one that making is making it is trustworthy. Since God alone perfectly meets this qualification, we can base our entire life on the certainty of his promises. Brethren, because he is sinless, and because he loves us, we can place our entire life on the certainty of his promises. What's more, his absolute faithfulness means that we can also be sure of his devotion and his unconditional love. His absolute faithfulness 
we can be sure of his devotion and his unconditional love. Isn't it wonderful that we have an amazing, loving God, one who has made many promises, and we can base our life on those promises because he is faithful, he's trustworthy, he loves us. There's nothing we can do to change that love. He wants us to seek after him and to spend our lives in honor and praising of his name. And his promises are true, and he promises that if we will remain faithful to him, and if we obey his commands, that we will have life eternal. I think something encouraging to think about the rest of the week, and we certainly appreciate your tuning in and listening to our messages and helping us to spread the gospel of Christ. We hope and pray that you're sharing these messages with your friends and loved ones. And we would also love to have you come visit us in person at the Seabury Church of Christ. We meet every Sunday morning for Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Our worship service follows at 10.30 a.m. We would dearly love to have you come and visit with us. And if there's anything that you think that the Seabury Church of Christ can do for you, Please, please give us a call, and, and if we possibly can, we, we would like to help you. And so you can call us at 270-823-2335. And again, if we possibly can, we would like to help. Also, again, remind you that we would love to have you visit with us. Thank you so much for tuning in to our message today. And I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.